Hi, hello again. So, this is the bonus one of the session one of this course. Um, so, I decided to create this bonus because um, for this PDF, for this example PDF that uh, I used uh, in the course, everything is perfect. Uh, and in some cases, uh, if your PDF is too old, okay, uh, is an uh, older version, uh, or um, for example, uh, if you have text in images, it's not possible to use the get underscore text to extract the text. So uh, here we will find a solution for that problem, okay? And uh, the solution will be, um, well, we will extract uh, an image from the page, okay, is the first step. So we will do exactly what we did here in the make Im uh, images from pages, okay, this code. And by the way, let me go here and let me create uh, a file bonus1.py, okay. And I will copy because you already know this code. Okay, so I am importing uh, feeds. Okay, uh, py, py mu pdf. Uh, then I have here the name of the file. I open the file. I get the page nine. Okay, I get a pix map of the page, and finally I save the page like this. Okay, so this is the first step, and then we will use. Uh, OCR, okay, to read the text from the image, okay. What is OCR? Uh, let me see, let me copy and let me paste. So, OCR means Optical Character Recognition, okay, and we will use a library for that. I will use in this example this library, Easy OCR. Okay. Um, to install this is very easy. We just need to copy here pip install Easy OCR. Um, let me go here to the folder, open the PowerShell window here, and let me wait. Is doing something. I believe, or I can just simply close and reopen the thing. Let's see if now is, yeah, now was faster. So the first step is we want to install this on our virtual environment, okay, Python virtual environment. So we need to activate the environment scripts and activate. PS1 and finally we just need to do pip install easy OCR hit enter and it will start doing uh, the magic for you it should appear uh, some bars growing okay in my case uh, I have uh, the thing uh, I did this before so I have the, the stuff cached on my machine okay um, this step well, since my computer is not um, a top-notch machine um, and because I am recording, uh, this step will take a lot uh, of time. So I need to uh, make a pause, okay? I will make a pause now and when this finish, I will come back, okay? So one, two and three. And I'm back. Um, it finished um, the, the process, okay, now we have um, Easy OCR installed on our Python virtual environment, okay, and I can go back here to the code and start coding, okay, so um, the next step is, the first step was reading, oops, uh, um, reading the page and creating the image, right, and now we want to use Easy OCR to read this uh, image and extract the text. Okay, so the first step, of course, is we need to um, import EasyOCR. 
Okay. The second step is we need to create a reader, okay, and we need to configure that reader, okay. So easy OCR dot reader, and we provide a list with the expected languages um, on that uh, image, okay. So the image will have um, English, okay. Oh, I, I didn't run. Uh, yet, uh, but the image will have uh, English, so it will be EN, okay? And uh, for for my case, uh, there is another parameter that is GPU, okay? For my case, it will not work, okay? Because my machine, unfortunately, is not um, a very good, okay? Uh, so, um, but we can provide this uh, parameter, and uh, with this parameter, we are actually saying to EasyOCR uh, that if possible, use GPU, okay, to do the stuff. Um, after configuring the reader, we can read the text, okay. So I will call this result is equals to is equals to a reader dot read text from where from this file okay from this file so I provide here the file after these after these uh, we can uh, declare here a result text that is equals to a empty string and then do a for loop uh, for each uh, res in result because it will return a list a list of tuples. Um, we want to result text plus equals to go away res and since uh, it has uh, just the words we want to also include spaces. Okay. Uh, at the very very end we just need to result dot text. Oops, sorry. Uh, print a result text. Uh, this is what we want to do. Print the result text. Okay. The next step is I will place here a breakpoint. Okay. Because uh, I want to show you something here. I will go here to the run and debug. Run and debug again. Okay. This is a Python file. Okay. And now it will start doing the magic. It will activate the virtual environment first. Yes. And then it will start doing the thing. I will let this uh, get into a message saying that uh, I don't have... Uh, my computer is very bad and it can cannot use the GPU and it will use the CPU instead and uh, I, uh, I will be forced to stop the recording again because uh, this uh, easy OCR uses a lot of uh, processing power um, the recording um, software also uses a lot of recording um, a lot of processing power and um, related with images so I am forced to stop the thing for this to continue. Uh, but uh, this is uh, saying that I don't have... Uh, it will default to CPU. Okay, so let me stop and when this uh, reaches the um, breakpoint I will come back, okay? And I'm back. Finally it reached the uh, uh, debug, uh, the breaking point. Uh, in the debug. So what I want to show you, I want to show you this res, okay? So I just copy the res, I go here to the debug console, okay? Hit enter and let's see. So this is, um, this res is a tuple with three parameters. The first parameter is a list of lists, okay? Uh, this is basically uh, coordinates and these four coordinates will um, 
draw um, a rectangle okay and that rectangle will be um, um, will be around this uh, word okay for for each word it will draw a rectangle where it thinks the easy OCR thinks that uh, there is a word okay uh, the second parameter is the word like you, uh, you saw already and the third parameter is the confidence so in this case it has the 84 percent confidence that this word is correct okay okay so uh, what I wanted I, I wanted to show you this because uh, we have the word the text at index 1 so it will it should be uh, res at index 1 okay and I will stop this okay and close this go to the PowerShell let me clear the thing and let's run the, the thing uh, pi bonus one okay um, like in the other cases science my computer is not very good I need to stop this uh, recording uh, by the way don't forget to tell your friends to buy my courses so I can buy a better computer and do more stuff like this um, and I will come back okay and I'm back and finally we got here our the text okay this is the text the first line uh, is not the text okay is the message saying that I have a very bad computer um, this is the text let's compare with the picture and let's see so this is the picture open okay and we have here instructor like the unnamed teacher uh, and it starts here instructors like a name teacher perfect at the end is not very perfect let me show you it ends with who constituted the intellectual and here we have who constituted the intellectual and then we have plus this uh, goal dot and then point y okay so you see this is not perfect but I prefer that it adds stuff than uh, not uh, to, to return something incomplete um, also there is a um, problem somewhere for example here this is a supervision of and for some reason uh, it thought that of uh, was just one word okay uh, it should be separated um, okay it works is not perfect but it works um, by the way let me just copy here some uh, OCR Python OCR libraries okay so the one that I used here was this one easy OCR I used this one um, I also used in the past by Tesseract okay uh, the other three the paddle OCR OCR my PDF and Keras OCR I never used these okay um, these three I never used them but all of them have um, have very many likes from many people okay so I believe they are good um, none of them are per will be perfect okay um, and what more I can show you the pages for example we have here Pytesseract okay um, um, in the tests that I did Pytesseract was in some cases better than easy OCR okay uh, don't forget that these libraries um, they are um, they suffer um, developments uh, over time so uh, for now for the moment I uh, tried uh, Pytesseract Pyta was a little bit better than easy OCR but in the future we don't know what will be okay um, also Pytesseract is a little bit more complex to install okay because you need first to install Tesseract is not uh, Pytesseract is Tesseract 
uh, and then uh, PyTesseract because PyTesseract is a wrapper for Tesseract, okay? Okay, so then uh, we have here Paddle OCR, okay? Um, you just need to follow the instructions, okay? I never tried this one, and I don't know, but it has a, a very many likes, okay, from many people. Um, OCR my PDF. It appears that this is this one is was uh, designed uh, specifically for PDF files, um, and then we have here the Keras OCR, okay, and that's it for this um, lecture. Um, a bonus lecture. Uh, I hope th this was uh, helpful for you and um, we will see each other in the next bonus or next session. Okay, bye!